we will discuss about the pectoral girdle in case of the fowl the pectoral girdle generally consists of a scapula the clavicle and the coracoid this is the coracoid so first one this is the scapula the scapula in case of the fowl this is sword shaped or saber shaped this scapula it articulates with the coracoid and clavicle and it forms a foramen that is known as foramen triosseum through which there is passage of the tendon of supra coracoidis muscle so yahan pe foramen banta hai between the scapula coracoid and the clavicle this scapula it is placed parallel to the vertebral column and it extends up to the kahan tak pahunchta hai pelvis tak so this was about the scapula now coming to the next bone which is known as the clavicle the clavicle of the right side and the clavicle of the right left side they two unite they form a structure that is known as a furculum this is the furculum so this clavicle it is placed downwards or backwards and why the two clavicles right and the left ventrally they form a bony plate this is known as hypoclidium so this is the hypoclidium and this v shaped structure we call it as a furculum or fish bone now coming to the next bone that is known as coracoid coracoid it is a small rod shaped bone it's the strongest bone of the shoulder and it has a proximal and and the distal end the proximal it articulates with the scapula and the humerus head of the humerus and the distal and it articulates with the sternum so this is the coracoid coracoid bone and this is the scapula here this hypoclidium of the furculum or fish bone this articulates with the rostrum of the sternum with the help of a ligament so this was all about the pectoral girdle of the fowl so this is the scapula this is the furculum or fish bone and this is the coracoid bone these three bones they form a pectoral girdle in case of the fowl thank you